Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guy and before we begin today's video I have got two announcements to make. The first announcement is that uh, I, if you remember I posted recently saying that um, I was going to change my uploading schedule to upload three times a week instead of uploading de uh, daily but uh, that wasn't really working out that well so now we are going to get back on uploading daily instead of uploading thrice a week or something of that sort so we are going to upload daily from now on. And the second announcement is that uh, uh, if you remember we have been doing a, an Android game development series and uh, well that's a pretty cool idea and all we are going to actually postpone that series for a while and we are going to do another series and this is going to be like the uh, like uh, it's going to be basically like a raycaster series in this series we are going to create a uh, raycasting engine from scratch in C++ using SFML for graphics so uh, that's going to be pretty awesome now uh, as I said we are going to use SFML for graphics but before we can do anything we need to understand what a raycasting engine actually is so raycasting is basically a technique in which we cast rays from the point of the player's view uh, to a 2D grid and based on where the rays hit we draw like vertical columns on the screen to give the uh, illusion of a 3D mode. So it's basically rendering 2D worlds in 3D. So kind of like pseudo 3D. So this method was used in like early games such as Wolfenstein 3D and uh, games of that sort. So yeah, that uh, is the method we are going to use in this series to kind of create a renderer of that sort. So in order to get started with that, uh, we are going to begin first of all by uh, you can see that uh, uh, I've got Linux here, I'm using Linux and we're going to set up everything here on Linux. Now uh, if you're using Windows, I have already got tutorials about SFML and how to set up SFML on uh, Windows with Visual Studio and uh, because we are going to use SFML for our graphics and of course uh, we, this is going to be pretty simple so if you want to use any other graphics uh, library then you should be able to use that as well uh, but uh, we are going to use SFML because that's like uh, open source and free and it's kind of also uh, easy to work with so uh, yeah without further ado let's get started now uh, of course if you are not a Windows user or you are a Linux user you are going to uh, have I'm going to show you how to set up everything so I'm going to open up my terminal and uh, uh, we need to install a couple of packages so the first thing we need to install is you need to make sure you've got like G++ installed and uh, we are going to just put your password here and uh, uh, you should probably have it installed already if you haven't then go ahead and install it so this is going to be our C++ compiler uh, and uh, uh, we also now need to make sure we install like our S actual SFML uh, library for that we'll install lib SFML uh, dev here and uh, uh, this is like uh, uh, going to install all the libraries and include headers and everything for us. And I've already got that installed. As you can see, I've got these installed. If you have got any of these not installed, then this, these commands should install them. And uh, I'm going to switch to this YouTube tutorial directly. And in here, I'm going to create a new directory um, called Raycast. Thing, uh, Raycaster let's call it and we are going to move into that directory and once we are in that directory I'm going to clear the screen here and we are going to uh, open up uh, a file called main.cpp in vim and we are going to basically in this video kind of set up like the basic template for our application we are going to set like an empty window and uh, uh, we are I'm using vim here for the actual editing of course uh, this is actually neovim and you can use any other editor or IDE you like that your choice so I'm going to open up main.cpp here and I'm going to basically go under full screen mode here and uh, uh, in here we are going to begin by creating like the main function here and uh, we are going to create an SF uh, render window here which will be basically like an any window except that it will also allow us to uh, render into it so we are going to include SFML slash graphics you could also include graphics.hpp but we are going to include only the files we need so we are going to include go here and include render window.hpp here now in main we are going to create sf colon colon render window and uh, it's, we are going to just call it window and uh, we are going to initialize it uh, and in order to initialize it we are going to uh, say sf colon colon video mode so the first argument is going to be like a video mode representing the actual size of our display we are going to pass 800 and 450 this will kind of have the white screen aspect ratio and of course you can choose any size you like here and we are going to just say raycaster for the actual title and uh, with that we have got our window created but now we need to set up like an event loop so for this we are going to go here and we are going to say 
uh, while uh, we are going to run a while loop here we are going to run it while window dot is open and while our window is open we are going to run this now in here first uh, in the loop we are going to first of all set up our event handling functionality we will create an sf colon colon event here call event and make sure to actually include the event dot hpp header like i have got up here and if you have included that uh, we can go here and we are going to uh, call the window dot poll event method but we are going to use a while loop here so a poll event will return true if there are more events to be processed and we are going to process all events one by one i'm going to say window dot poll event and we're going to pass it our event uh yeah just uh, the actual event variable and after that uh, we are going to now check if our event dot type is equal to sf colon colon event colon uh, colon colon uh, well we have got uh, a bunch of different types here we are going to say closed this actually means that uh, you know the window close button was pressed on the window or you know the user pressed alt f4 or something of that sort and if that happened we obviously want to just close our window we are going to say window dot close and uh, once we are done processing the events now we need to actually go here and uh, now uh, we are going to like uh, do the actual rendering part and for the first thing we need to do is of course clear the window screen so we are going to clear it and for the color we are going to just uh, pass the default black and we are going to uh, basically we'll need to draw everything uh, draw our whole scene here which we'll do later and after we are done drawing our scenes, we are going to say window dot display, which will actually just display the actual things we draw on to the screen. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this. And uh, yeah, that's going to basically create a basic empty application for us. So now let's go ahead and press uh, space and uh, I'm going to press H to open up like an integrated terminal here. And we are going to run GCC here and we are going to pass it our main.cpp. But if I run it, you can see it gives a bunch of undefined uh, reference errors. That's, a uh, that's because we have not actually linked our libraries. So we are going to use the L flag to link our libraries. The libraries we need to link are SFML uh, graphics, SFML window, and also SFML system. So we are going to link all of these. And uh, uh, well, it still gives some errors, which it should not have. And you can see that it says, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's giving an error here which uh, you should not have given. Uh, the reason for that is we are using GCC here and we use G++ and now it does not give that error. So yeah, we have got uh, that compiled and actually uh, it should have outputted that as A dot out. I'm going to change this to output it as actually uh, yeah, SFML uh, window. Uh, and uh, LSFML system here and I'm going to change this to output it as like Raycaster. We are going to delete a dot out and uh, now if i go ahead and run raycaster you can see we get an empty window here and we can like move it around and we can close it and it works so that means that our basic application template is working and uh, yeah guys pretty much it for this video i'll see you in the next one in which we are going to continue by implementing our actual application so stay tuned for that make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video and share it with other people as well and bye